can you maybe speak to some of the challenges you've encountered, uh, you know, in the last couple of years? And then on the flip side, maybe touch on some of the some of the wins you've seen. Mm-hmm. Sure. So some of the challenges that we have, I mean, one of the things we talked about earlier is that a lot of the systems in our industry have been primarily focused on batch, right? There's, they didn't have very good APIs. And so working with those systems, having to build hooks into them so we can have a more real time um, is, is always a challenge because if it's not native to that system, um, then you have to figure out other ways. And, and there are ways to get around that, but that tends to be a lot of work from that perspective. Second of all is obviously data quality. Um, anytime you're doing um, interactions between multiple enterprises, um, the data standards between them are very different. Um, you know, there's if you look at healthcare, there are standard ways of transacting, um, but what goes into those fields and those transactions can be very different. And so, converting that and understanding that, and making sure that you're very clear on that information, those are some of the challenges that we we have. The interoperability rules are coming out very excited that we're going to be able to share data between healthcare payers um, and providers. And it, it's, it's a big boom from my perspective, but will that data be consistent because there is no data standards necessarily between organizations, right? So the quality of that data in any digital transformation is very important to make sure it's actually usable and not just something that's going to sit there and you can't act on that, that from that perspective. Some of the wins we've had, um, we talked a little bit about interoperability. We've been part of the DaVinci project, uh, which for our industry was really a standardization on the national level, working um, really with CMS, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, um, to get to a data standardization for the, some of this interoperability. Um, and with that, um, we came up with FHIR standards, FHIR. Uh, and we're using those in our new digital app that we've put out. So we've moved ahead on that. And so that's been a big win. And so we, we, we've been in the forefront of that. Our new digital app is great. Our data analytics platform along with you know, using that with our, our healthcare economics group have fought, done, been able to do some really interesting work with some AI and finding people that you know potentially have are in high risk for certain conditions, um, high risk for um, certain types of cert, you know joint problems. And so moving that stuff forward by getting that data clean, using it to, to enhance um, our processes, and then really be able to act on it has been really important.